In this video, I show you the main control settings, the language settings and first most important docking windows. Let's get started. First, I will briefly explain the user interface to you. The ribbon tabs are located at the top of the screen, where you can access the ribbon groups containing the ribbon items and perform various actions. What you see here are the docking windows. Let's start at the main control settings with the mouse control for the drawing area. Use the left mouse button to select components or dimensions. Hold the right mouse button to move the drawing in XY direction. When you use the mouse roller, you can zoom in and out. Now that you know the main settings, I will show you how to change the language of the software. Click on the Lift Designer logo button and go to the options. In this user interface, you have several setting options, for example, the language. Go to Language and determine in which language you want to have the software. With German, for example, I only change the top ones, because the other ones are secondary and alternative languages. After setting the language, you get to know the main docking windows. These are Data Tree, Properties, Breadcrumb and 3D View. You can select any component via the docking windows, Data Tree, Breadcrumb, 3D View when you hold down Shift and select with the left mouse button the component and directly in the 2D drawing. Let's take a look at the several docking windows and what they are for. The data tree contains all elevator components, related child components, parameters and database tables listed in a hierarchical structure. If you, for example, click on the landing door in the drawing, all related components, information, etc. are displayed in the data tree. That could also be selected directly in the data tree. The properties displays the selected component properties. If you click on the select buttons of the category 0020, the navigator window opens. If you click here, it displays the extended component dialog. The breadcrumb represents the respective section of the project structure in a flat hierarchy. The structure is similar to that of the data tree docking window. It provides the opportunity to select visible as well as invisible and inactive components like list objects, for example entries, components without geometry, for example pulley beams or gems, etc. At the top, you see parent component and the current selected component, for example the entry and the shaft door. You find the child components located under the selected component. Below the components, you can set your own project-related or global component favorites. When you check the box at Show Profiles, it shows all component profiles in the breadcrumb data tree. Recommended for developer. The 3D view shows the 3D elevator model, depending on the selected or activated view frame. You can enable and disable the docking windows via the corresponding windows group item. You'll find the 3D view under the Visualize tab. The other docking windows are at the Start tab at the end. You also have the option to hide the docking windows. To do this, click at the pin. Last but not least, you can move the docking window separately by clicking and holding the left mouse button and move it to the desired position. Thanks for watching. 